It's Capital Breakfast. Good morning. It's Roman Kemp, Sean Welby and Sonny J. It is Monday morning and we are joined with someone with a very, very big surprise. It's been hard to keep this one quiet as well. Please put your hands together. Someone we love on this show with a brand new single. It's Miss Katie Perry. Yeah! Yeah! Woo! Katie, good morning. Katie Perry. Good morning. Good morning. What? This isn't Katy Perry. I'm Bart Simpson. Who the hell are you? <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> oh, man. No. Roman, dude! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> Katie, yes, Nancy! Come on! <laughs> oh, my God! Gotcha! Gotcha! <laughs> oh, my God! Hi! Nancy Cartwright, hello! <laughs> this Hi, Roman. is. Oh my god! I really thought it was. Honestly, this is so. I don't even know what to say. Oh, wow! No. <laughs> so, I mean, if you're just tuning in, this, we. What? Can you explain what's going on, please? Yeah, I think we need to talk. I can't really talk. He's in genuine shock. So, Sonny and I, we had a bit of a plan, didn't we? We did. We thought we would surprise Roman with his absolute hero. Like. This is a face he has tattooed on his leg. Mm -hmm. And he has been a fan of Bart Simpson his entire life. Mate, look at the tattoo! <laughs> <laughs> and so we pulled a few strings and we managed to get the voice of Bart and other Simpson characters. Nancy Cartwright, oh, she's right here. Nancy, thank you so much for coming. Honestly, this is incredible. You bet, man. Honestly. The only thing Katy Perry and I have in common, we have the same birthday, which is just here, you know. Listen, <laughs> listen, Katie can step aside for a minute and we will call her and we will tell her that this is way better. Like, I'm sorry, but she'll have to just deal with that. She'll have to deal with that. Nancy, firstly, thank you so much for coming onto the show. I'm presuming, I mean, obviously I saw, I was fanboying myself off of the tweet with Sabrina the other day. Yeah. Um, I mean, she's smashing it right now. I, I don't honestly don't really know what to say. I, I've wanted to do this interview since the moment I watched Inside the Actors Studio. Dude, that's that a long is a time long ago. Time. Yes. When was that? That was like 2004. It was a long, long time ago. Yeah. yeah. Um, and Nancy, firstly, um, I, I, I don't even know what to say. Right, Roman's in a little bit of shock, as you can see, Nancy. Yeah. Um, now, this was his opportunity, because obviously he loves you so much, to ask you anything right. that he wants to know about The Simpsons, wants to know about you, any of the characters that you play. Um, so, Roman, this Got is it. your opportunity, mate. This is this is your question time with Nancy. Nancy, I'm, I'm going to go straight in. You do so many fantastic characters. Other than, <laughs> other than Bart Simpson... What is the character that you absolutely love doing? Roman, that's like asking me which of my kids I like the best. <laughs> so it's like, they're, they're, they're all mine. And there's certain qualities. You know, at one time, Nelson was really hard to do because, like, he's a bit of a throat scratcher. Yeah. But he's not. They, they, they featured him maybe a handful of times, not even. Maybe four times, I think, in the 32-plus years that we've been doing this. But I've come to really love him, Nelson Mandela Muntz. Yes. Nelson Mandela Muntz. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cool. He's just got. Do you know what Nelson's just got such a sad like backstory though? I mean, that's always the thing that yeah. I've always loved. But I mean, uh, listen. I mean, oh, Nelson, <laughs> that is so great. I mean, what, I love him. I mean, Ralph's has got to touch your heart though all the time. Oh, for sure, for sure. But Ralph, the character arc of Ralph is, is I think, the strongest one in the entire series. Is it because he, he does come from such a broken family? His mom works at Hooters. It's like <laughs> his dad ran away when he was so young. He went out to go get, I think, cigarettes or something. And he's like, my dad went to go get cigarettes. Yeah, you do it. I can't even do it. <laughs> <laughs> the episode he's singing, he's like, Papa, can you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god this is so amazing i, I mean, love him i just love him the incredibly hot mrs simpson he has got a crush on marge which is just like so adorable and you're right and and ralph wiggum 
the walking non sequitur. He is so funny. No matter what he says, it's just, he so doesn't fit in and you just love him because he's so kind of sweetly pathetic, you know? He really is. He really is. I mean, look, I'm, there's, there's so many things that I kind of, I guess I, I want to ask. I guess what, one, of the, one of the general questions that I, this is a bit of a geekier question. How long does it take for you to record each episode? I will say that it takes about six to seven months to actually complete one whole episode. What? <gasps> Yeah, it's a long time, guys, and we're doing about five of them um, simultaneously because at different stages of development. The writing of the show comes first, and then the voices come second. So I, I would say it's a day to do to do the voices, but it's not even because with co especially this past year, you know, we've been recording in our respective homes. And I do it, and I'm done in a couple of hours. And if we have to go into the studio, it's even with the whole, the, the most of the team there, it doesn't take, you know, it takes two to four hours to finish one episode. And then after that, they have to edit it. They edit down four hours of work into, it's a 22-minute show, and out of 22 minutes, there's a certain percentage that's, um, that's dialogue, and the rest is... Um, signage and you, you know and we're not talking so it's not the entire show that we're talking but uh, then after they do that then it goes to animation and they start to do it but it takes a lot and the musicals take longer than a regular show so it's i mean it is in, it is incredible yeah. it's incredible to think the best thing about this is that you are quite literally probably in the top five most famous people in america definitely but maybe even in the world and yet, I'm sure, do you get recognized that much out and about? You know, it's the most bizarre thing. It is the most bizarre thing because, no, I don't. It's not this It's not this face that you see, you know? It's, it's like, you know, <gasps> it's like, <laughs> it's this face. It's this face right here. There's the face right here. Hi, Roman. <laughs> it's crazy. It is absolutely Got crazy. Got my eye on you. What does your niece, what does Sabrina think of it all? Well, I got to tell you something about Sabrina. This it, th this came as a total surprise to me, just kind of out of nowhere, in, in that you sort of hijacked her, her interview. And, you know, talking about me and <laughs> watching her, I don't, I, like three minutes or something. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And she was so incredibly gracious. And she's she's adorable. And I'll tell you about Sabrina Carpenter. I've, I've known her since she was about eight, really, since she was that, like eight years old. And her grandmother married my dad. Mm. Right, so, okay. Yeah, it's, it's that. We're not related by blood, but Sabrina, you know, just got to know her and she was breaking into Hollywood and she and her family would come and stay at my house and just live here where I live and kind of just helping her get going because pilot season and helping her out with that. You know, introduced her to um, an agency and, yeah. and and stuff like that. And just you know, she's got to hold her own, no doubt about it. But this kid, I will tell you about her. Since she was six years old, her passion was to work with Disney, and that's all she really wanted. So when America's Got Talent happened and The Voice happened and all this, she's like, nope, nope. And she was a hundred percent committed to doing it the way that she really wanted to do it. She wanted to work with Disney. So after, you know, hitting the pavement and doing auditions and she got a few jobs there, she landed Girl Meets World. Yeah. And it's like she hit the mother load and she was off and they signed her on a contract. And meanwhile, cultivating everything that she and her family had supported her to do, you know, she, she did it. She made it on her own. And I have no doubt in my mind at some point, Sabrina Carpenter, and maybe I'll be the first to say this, she will be, I don't know what it's called, a quad, a quad hi, hi, hyphenate? <laughs> wow. Emmy, <laughs> Emmy, Oscar, Tony, and Grammy. Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, I'm not kidding. She is that talented. Well, listen. She's yeah, amazing. Yeah. She 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 has been absolutely fantastic. I mean, you know, having her on the show as well. Um, Nancy, you know, I, I do understand. I, I know that you're you're hosting a masterclass on voice acting as well. Is that yeah. correct? I mean, I mean, what what would be your best tips? Because I think impressions have always been the thing that I've tried to do. I mean, the, the best in terms of in terms of Simpsons impressions, my Kirk Van Outen is there, but that's about it. Can I borrow a feeling? <laughs> that's about it. 
Oh, no. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Nancy, can, well, you, can you sort of do any of the other voices that you don't actually voice? I do a modest Marge. She's about the only one that I really do. I can I can do it, but I would never... Nobody does it like Julie. You know, Julie really... Every now and then, I can slip into doing my own mother. <gasps> it is good. That that is it is good. good. But that's so quite good. a good thing, because it's part mimicking his mom. It, it's really, really <laughs> cool. I really like that. So, <laughs> The Simpsons somehow seems to predict the future. Why? How do you think this is happening? And what's your opinion of this? What is with that? These guys are so smart. You know, I don't... All I can say is it's probably just we have been on the air for so long that it's just a... It's kind of a numbers game. They just... Like Trump, for example. That was like... I, I know that the writers had just... They had thought, who is the most ridiculous, worldwide-known personality that would never, ever be considered our president. And they all agreed that it was true. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how that happened. And it's kind of a funny thing. And, like, didn't they predict also, like, the Patriots were going to win the Super Bowl that one year? Yeah. And the timeline also, things that seem that just happened yesterday, the media has an incredible way of keeping something that just happened. They keep it current because they talk about it so much. Oh, uh, yeah. So it seems like it just happened when it, it really didn't. So that kind of is another thing that makes it seem like, oh, my God, how did he know? It's an, kind of, it's it's a bit of an illusion. I don't know. Yeah, it's amazing. That makes sense. Uh, honestly, Nancy, thank you so much for doing this. I couldn't appreciate it more. Honestly, this is... The, this is Probably one of the best things that's ever happened in my life.